Hey everybody, this is Dr. Dane. Welcome to this installment of the Tour of Consciousness once again from lovely Houston. I don't know what happened. I got home and all these videos are shooting out. How does it get any better than that? How are you today? I hope you're doing absolutely phenomenal. And uh, thank you again for your caring about the fact that my house is still standing. Yay! Uh, in fact, I have a little lake down in the bayou now. It's like the bayou that used to be down there and it was this stream that is flowing is now kind of a lake. It's kind of interesting. So uh, I, who knows what happens in natural events. I have no idea where that's going on. Nobody can tell me. And I just imagine it's probably draining from someplace else through my backyard. How does it get any better than that? So what is the tool for today? I have no clue. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sort of reach out to all of you, all of my beautiful friends all around the world and ask in my world, what is it that you would like to know that I can contribute right now? Huh? Now, and as it's coming up, I realize that one of the things that we haven't been taught is that we have an awareness of things like that. When you're sitting across from somebody, are you aware that energetically you have an awareness of their entire world? You know this tool that we've shared with you or that I've shared with you, and I say we because I don't consider access mine and all this stuff mine, I consider it ours and all of us, and including all the amazing facilitators around the world, including Gary Douglas, the founder. So I say ours a lot because it's ours from my point of view. But have you heard this tool? Who does this belong to? It's one of the staples of access consciousness, right? And what we talk about is the idea that there, what I found is that 98% of your thoughts, your feelings, and your emotions don't actually belong to you. They belong to the people around you and they belong to people that you know that might be thinking about you. They belong, have done this your whole life, so you think that all this stuff that you perceive and are aware of is actually yours when it's not. So what happens is, when you're sitting across from somebody, you're not even aware of it, but you're basically getting an energetic download of their entire world. Part of the reason some of you don't like being in large groups and large crowds and why you don't like being in public because you're so aware of what is going on for people in their entire world and you've never known that you had this awareness. So literally when I ask, what do you guys need to hear? All of a sudden I'm literally reaching out into the world to go, hey, what's there? You know, what can I contribute to you? And I realized that none of us have been taught this. We should have been taught this when we were little kids. Somebody should have said, hey, by the way, here's the thing you're very energetically aware. You're gonna be aware of like your dad's entire world and your mom's entire world. And at some point you're gonna think it's yours, but it's not. You can create your own world if you would choose. So with this awareness that you have the energetic awareness of somebody's entire universe, what would you like to choose now if you didn't have to buy any of it as real anymore? So think about it just for a moment if you have roommates right now, or let's say you, you know, have a husband, a wife, live with someone. Uh, how often are you in a particular kind of mood and you come home and you perceive their mood and now all of a sudden you're in that mood? But wait a minute, is that really your mood? Well, probably not. So if you could acknowledge that you were aware of people's worlds energetically, acknowledge you're aware of every future they're trying to create with you and everything they're expecting of you and everything they've decided is not possible, what could you choose beyond it? So, let's do this. Whose world have you made greater than yours that stops you from creating what you truly desire to create? Everything that is times a gazillion, will you destroy and create it, please? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. Whose world have you made greater than yours that keeps you from creating everything you would like to create? Everything that is times a gazillion, will you destroy and create it, please? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. Whose world have you made greater than yours that keeps you from creating everything you would like to create? Everything that is, times a gazillion, will you destroy and create it, please? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. <sighs> well, okay, so with that awareness, with the awareness that you have this sort of this energetic download of everybody that you're around, what you start to recognize is you've been picking up on a lot of that and using that to steer the course of your life. What if you didn't have to anymore? What if instead of picking up on all that, thinking it's yours and trying to head in that direction, which by the way, doesn't work very well because it's not your direction. What if you could actually start to create what you would like to create 
rather than making anybody else's world and your awareness of it greater than yours. Key is recognizing this one thing that you're that aware energetically of what other people have going on. So, this has been a very strange tour of consciousness, very bizarre, very interesting. It's a great pleasure to be with you. And what if you no longer had to make anybody else's world greater than yours? And if you haven't done the who does this belong to tool, is it possible it's about time to actually use it? Do it for three days. It'll change your life and change your world. At the end of three days of using it, you'll walk around like you're in a walking, talking meditation. Thanks, beautiful people. Thank you for being part of the tour of consciousness. And what if you truly being you are the gift, the change, and the possibility this world requires? Thanks for being. Bye.